We'll see. We'll float the spirit. All right, Shalom. Shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS North Carolina camp back with another video. Before we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kodash, double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught us the truth according to the Bible, and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, and today basically we're going to go into a lesson how the God of the Bible, Yahweh by Shem, Shai, you know, only knows the children of Israel, that he only loves the children of Israel. He's only dealing with the children of Israel, you know. And who's the children of Israel? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So you got a lot of these people on the face of the earth. God loves everybody. Oh, equality for all the people. But that's not how the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, set it up, you know. Go ahead. Kind. This is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. Yeah, and someone with lack of understanding would like see all nations, even the children of Israel, you know. But you people do irk, you don't understand the scriptures, nor the, um, the will of the Most High, you know. Go ahead. It says, and they are counted to him less than nothing. So all nations are, are, <coughs> are as nothing before him. He's talking about the heathen nations, you know. The so-called white man, the so-called Japanese, the so-called Chinese, the so-called Dahe East Indians, the so-called smelly Arab, the so-called duty eating Africans, uh, so-called Samoans, so-called Samoans, the water, bro, and the park, um, and any other nation outside of the children of Israel whose seed line, whose bloodline doesn't go back to the, um, on the according to their father's side to the children of Abraham, the, our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm-hmm. It says, and vanity. Mm-hmm. So, all nations before him as nothing, even less than nothing, and vanity. So what? All you heathen nations before the Heavenly Father don't really matter. Mm hmm You were put here on this earth to serve and to worship the children of Israel, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, really worship the Most High and um, serve the children of Israel, you know? Mm -hmm. In the kingdom of heaven, first and foremost, because that's when um, you guys are going to be forced to um, forced to serve the Lord and mm -hmm. forced to follow the law, statute, commandments of the Bible. Second Ezra six. Second Ezra six. Mm -hmm. And fifty four. Yep. This is Second Ezra chapter six, verse fifty four. Shalakia. So Here it is. All right. This second Edges chapter six verse fifty four, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. Yeah, and we agree with that. We agree that we all come from Adam, you know. So that's 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 the thing, you know. We all come from Adam. Go ahead. It reads on. And the people also. Whom thou hast chosen. Mm-hmm. You got the Isaiah 40. You got quoted earlier. Uh, actually, get Psalms 134, 135 and 4. Okay. This is Psalms 135. Because we're going to prove who the chosen is, you know? Go ahead. This is Psalms chapter 135, verse 4. Yahweh by Shema Shai have chosen Jacob. He has chosen who? Jacob. Mm -hmm. And Jacob consists of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Go ahead. Unto himself. Mm hmm And Israel for his peculiar treasure. Yeah, so out of all the um, families of the earth that came out of Adam, the Lord chose Jacob, the seed line of uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know? Go ahead. Back to, okay. back to answers. This is Second Edges chapter six verse fifty five. All this have I spoke fifty four again. Okay. This is Second Edges chapter six verse fifty four. And after this, so like after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. Mm -hmm. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Yes, yeah, so the Jacob is whom he has chosen unto himself. Go ahead. 
Verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee. Yehah mm -hmm. ba shai. Because thou madest the world for our sakes. Yeah, thou madest the world for Israel's sakes. It, um, get Second Ezra 7 and 10, the next chapter over real quick. Yeah, start at 10 and read verse 11. Kind. This is Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 10. Yeah, because you got to go precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. That's how you understand the Bible, you know? This is how you understand that the Lord is only dealing with the children of Israel, you know? It's a plain as day, but you got to link up the precepts. You know, we don't know who the chosen is, you know? The chosen got discontinued, blah, 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 you know? The scriptures say it plainly. Go ahead. This is Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 10. And I said... Is it so, Yahweh Then said he unto me, Even so also is Israel's portion. Verse 11, Because for their sakes I made the world. Yeah, for their sake I made the world. So for the children of Israel's sake, you know, starting with the elect, Yahweh Shai made the world, you know. To finish that verse, I'm going to go back to 64, 54. And when Adam transgressed my statues, then was decree that now is done. Mm, yeah, that was it. So the point was the Lord made the children, the the world for the children of Israel. Same verse you were just reading. Okay. This is Second Edges chapter six verse fifty five. Mm -hmm. All this have I spoken before thee, O Yahabashim Awashai, because thou madest. The world for our sake. Yeah, the children of Israel, Yahweh Shema, we proved that they were the chosen. We proved in another precept that he made the world for their sakes. Go ahead. Verse 56. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. Yeah, as in the other nation that we just read about in Isaiah, the 40th chapter, that also come of Adam. Go ahead. It says, Thou hast said that they are nothing. Exactly. The same thing that the Lord said in Isaiah the 40th chapter. Go ahead. That they are nothing, you know? Meaning they don't matter, you know? Go ahead. But be like unto spittle. Here it is. The Lord um, has described the children of Israel as a peculiar treasure, but liken you heathen nations as spit. Go ahead. And has likened them abundance of uh, uh, again. Slacking kind. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that fall from a vessel. Yeah, exactly. So he is liking the abundance of them as a drop that falls from a vessel. You know, as if you have a, if you're washing your car and you're, you know, taking the bucket to your car to you left the faucet and you drop some water out. That's the that little drop that fell is you heathen nations. You know, mm -hmm. you're not. It doesn't really matter about that little drop. You're not gonna go back and say shit. Let me try to go scrape that off the ground. You know. Not gonna say that. And what's more, what what has more weight, a peculiar treasure, or a drop of bucket that fell on the floor? You know, a peculiar treasure about is precious and valuable. You know, that drop of bucket that fell, that drop of water that, that fell out of the bucket onto the floor is useless. You know, you can't do anything with it now. Good. Verse fifty-seven. And now, oh yeah, how about That's it. Okay. Get Amos three and one. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that Yahweh Shemesh has spoken against you, O children of Israel. I'm sorry, get Joel 2 and 27. Got it. And then get that. Amos 3 and 1. I want to make a point with that. This is Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of. Of Israel. Mm, so this is the Lord speaking. He's saying, Ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, you know. And we're going to say again, Israel, you still call Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know. The people that everybody um, count worthless, the, the ones that everybody's, um, you know, talking crap about nowadays. Uh, look at that bum begging for change. Now you got Edomites begging for change, you know. Because mm -hmm. the Lord is starting to rise up his, um, his elect, and in turn is going to. Um, Exalt the children of Israel in the kingdom of heaven. That's slowly coming. Go ahead. It says, And that I am Yahweh Shemiah Washai, and none else. So like you. I'm going to read that from the top again. Mm -hmm. And you should know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am Yahweh your power, and none else. Yeah, go ahead. 
and my people shall never be ashamed. Yeah, and the children of Israel are ashamed because we got the power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, he's our power and none else. It didn't say he's the power of the children of Israel and all the, and all the people on the earth. You know, it said in none else. Go ahead, get that Amos now. Okay. So the Lord, the power of the children of Israel. I know we could end the lesson with that. The point's made, you know. We're going to bring out some more um, scriptures for edification's sake. Go ahead. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that Yahweh by Shema Shai has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Yeah, so this word is supposed to be heard by the children of Israel. This is who the... um. This is the Lord gave his word unto the children of Israel. You know, which we're going to get that next. Go right. Ahead. And real quick, he said, hear this word. Mm -hmm. Talking about this King James Bible, the 1611. It ain't talking about hearing the words of the Book of the Mormon. It ain't talking about hearing the words of the Book of the Quran. It ain't talking about hearing the words of these school books. You see, he's talking about hearing the words, once again, of this King James Bible. So this is Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that Yahweh Bashim al has spoken against you. O children of Israel, mm -hmm. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Right, and you know, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, who the word and he calls God and Jesus, who's so called black man, he brought you so called Negroes, Latino, and the Americas up from the land of Egypt. You see, from being enslaved under the Hamites, you know, who are their own so called Africans. It reads on, saying, verse 2, you only have I known. Of all the families of the earth. So you have Bashim Asha only known you so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans out of all the families of the earth. So, like the brother was going into earlier, you have Bashim Asha, he don't know, you know, Esau, the so called white man. He don't know um, Ishmael, the so called musty Arabs. He don't know Ham, the so called Dutian Africans. Mm -hmm. He don't know Moab and Ammon, the so called Chinese and Japanese. He don't know Elon, the so called Dahe's in it. He only know you so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. Who the, who on um, the ones who gave the law that you can remember to the Bible to? It reads on. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right, and iniquity is on um, means wickedness. See how about Shema Asha is going to punish you, so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans for your for your wickedness from what? From transgressing the law that you can remember to the Bible. Mm-hmm. And he's doing that now. You know, that's why um our people are here in slavery today. Because we went off as a power, as a, as a whole, as a nation, you know? Mm -hmm. Breaking the law, statute, commandments of the Bible. Verse 2. Verse 2. Yeah, verse 2. That was it, right? Yeah, that was it. Get that on Leviticus. I'm um, going to get Psalms 147 and 19. And then get Leviticus. Okay. This is Psalms chapter 147. Verse nineteen. Mm -hmm. He show of his word unto Jacob. Yeah, the word, the words of this Bible, the King James version, like the brother said, the sixteen eleven. He so the word, meaning the the his lost. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, read it. Go ahead. Kind. Of, this is Psalms one forty seven and nineteen. He show of his word, this King James Bible, the sixteen eleven, unto Jacob. Yeah. So the wisdom that's in the Bible, the Lord have revealed that unto the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Starting with the elect, you know. Go ahead. And Jacob represents you so-called Negroes, Latino, and the Americans. Mm -hmm. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Yeah, so his law, statutes, and commandments, what to do, what not to do, how to live a perfect and upright life was revealed unto the children of Israel. How to live a life of peace, peace, love, and positively when the laws of the Bible are um, followed to a T. That's that's the that's what the Lord has given us a, a way for a perfect life, you know, mm -hmm. uh, immortality, pretty much, you know. Scriptures talk about the wages of sinner being death. So when we get these laws, that commandments part in our inward parts in the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna live forever. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse twenty, he have not dealt so with any nation. Yeah, so the Lord ain't dealing with you, heathen nation. There it is again. I've only known the children of Israel. I'm not dealing with any other nation. There, that's basically what the Lord is saying, you know. Go ahead. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Mm -hmm. Praise ye, Yahweh by Shema Yeah, and um, they don't know the judgments of the Lord. That's why when these so-called white people, they eat gout. I mean, I'm sorry, when they eat pork, they don't get high blood pressure. Um, they don't get gout. They don't get um, diabetes. Diabetes for eating all these um candies and abominable foods. 
they're, they don't they don't get judged for breaking the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible, you know. As the children of Israel do, because that's they were um they were um they made an agreement with the heavenly Father to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, go ahead. This is Leviticus chapter twenty six, verse forty six, mm -hmm. and these are like it. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which Yahweh Bashimah Shai made between him and the children of Israel. Yeah, so the Lord Himself made a covenant with the children of Israel and gave him gave them us because we are the children of Israel His law, statutes, and commandments. You know. After we got delivered out of the hand of uh, our enemies by the Lord, you know, mm -hmm. he he has chosen. Uh, he chose us, you know. We didn't choose the Lord. He chose the children. He chose the nation of Israel to. Um, he chose the sea line Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We didn't choose him. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, "This is Leviticus twenty six and forty six. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which Yahweh Bashimah made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. Yeah, the Lord wanted all nations to get the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible and to get his word. He would have invited everybody down there. Mm -hmm. He was like, I just destroyed the Egyptians. Go send word out for all the nations to come gather in the wilderness with me and with, with us, you know? Mm -hmm. And we gonna I'm giving everybody my word, you know. Mm -hmm. At the Tower of Babel, you know what? They're they're not learning about um, me. They're learning about these false idols, false gods, and worshiping a false god. You know what? I'm gonna go down there and and teach my word. Mm -hmm. That didn't happen. No, the Lord said, "F that. We're gonna divide these people." You know, mm -hmm. the Lord is about division. The Lord is about setting up a one nation upon the earth and and having them rule. You know, mm -hmm. the Lord is about order. You can't have every nation ruling. Since when does that happen? You know, you can't have every nation on the planet ruling. You gotta have servants and slaves and handmaids. You know. Any more than that? Um, Leviticus, get Second Ezra, um, five and twenty-seven. We'll close out with that. This is Second Ezra chapter five, verse twenty-seven, and among all the multitudes of peoples. Yeah, and there are a lot of multitude people. You know, we read in Amos of all the families of the earth that was gotten the one people, you know? So out of all the multitude of people, out of all these heathen nations, so-called white men who think he's the chosen, so-called Japanese who think they're the chosen, so-called Chinese um, think they're the chosen, do the Africans think they're the chosen, do the Af you know, Ishmael would most definitely think he's the chosen. All these um, nations in their pride who think they're the chosen, that's who the Lord didn't choose. But the children of Israel who think they ain't nothing on this mm -hmm. side, who um who think that they'll who who is just a servant on this side, that's whom the Lord has chosen, you know? Mm hmm Okay. Sorry from top. This is second Ezra chapter five verse twenty seven. And among all the multitudes of people mm -hmm. thou hast gotten the one people. Many people. One people. All the people. One people. So thou hast gotten the one people and if if anyone has ears to hear, they know that one people is Jacob, the children of Israel, which is today and this time is not those um those rats over there in is in Israel in the motherland. No, look at that. Look how the land is that is that land flowing with milk and honey? No, that should tell you right there that they're not the children of Israel. You know, mm -hmm. the children of Israel were brought into slavery and cargo slave ships. And to the day that the Lord, the Heavenly Father, sent His only begotten Son back to save them. So that was gotten the one people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Go ahead. And unto this people, whom thou lovest. Yeah, so the Lord only, only gotten the one people and only loves one people. Let's see why He loves them. Go ahead. Thou gavest a law. That is approved of all. Yeah, so that proves right there. The Lord gave his law, statutes, commandments unto us. That proves that he loves us, you know? Mm -hmm. He didn't give this law to everybody. No, you know? So the law, which is approved of all, was was passed down from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know, given to the um, to their descendants, the children of Israel. I'm sorry. Passed down from Moses mm -hmm. onto the children of Israel. That's all that, bro. But, um... 
There it is, you know, the Lord only chose the one people and it's the children of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And soon in the kingdom of heaven, when um it's gonna it's very soon it's gonna be made evident that the Lord is only dealing with the children of Israel, you know? There's no salvation for any other nation other than them. The Lord's one that's that's another lesson, you know. You want to say anything? That's it. You know, before we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kodash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, for teaching us this truth according to the Bible who rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom. Mm -hmm.